Good morning. Good morning. How are we? Uh, well, as you know, we stayed up here at Rosie's Bush Camp. Uh, we had the whole place to ourselves, so it was absolutely stunning. Last night, I really wanted to go fishing down here on the bank. I could hear all the barra buffing, but I didn't really have a big bright light, and I felt um, a little bit vulnerable, I suppose, because we're in croc country here, and I didn't want to go too close to the water at night time, because <laughs> I can't see, but they can see me. So anyway, we didn't catch any fish. We're going to push on up to the Gulf. We've got to head back past all these horrible corrugations that, that led us in here. Um, head up to the beach camp, which is up on the Gulf, and we'll probably spend the night there. So yeah, anyway, we might uh, time to get on the road and get out of here. Yeah, hopefully we'll catch a fish up there. Um, I reckon we will. I'm feeling pretty confident. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's get out of here. Easy peasy. Good job. Looks like we're here. Oh, sweet. Alaska Pools. You can get a bit of fresh drinking water here, the sign said. I uh, don't really know much about it. I think Rhett did say it was man made. I think they made it. And um, I think I might just pull it this way. Yeah, I think they dug it out because there's a bit of a spring that comes out of the, out of the ground. So it's got a bit of piping there. Drink the water have a swim, and then we'll move on up to the coast. How is it? Yeah. All right, let's keep punching on up to the coast, eh? Yep. Let's do it. Have you walked through it? No, I haven't. She's a good bog hole. Ew. She's gonna make a real mess. So which, back on. which side are you going to go? I'm going to come around and just hug this side here. You can see where the... Those tracks come yeah, out? Yeah, where everyone's sort of been driving this side. Yeah, okay. So, alright, wish us luck. Oh. Good luck. Find <laughs> <laughs> <Blowing> a plugger. <laughs> Radio Jess, what are we doing? So we've been told it's pretty boggy and you have to be careful um, at the beach. So there's three different pathways and so we're going to check it out with the drone to see which way we might go just to have a look at the beach. Yeah, so... we don't want to get stuck. No, so out here there are all these uh, salt pans. 
Um, it's been a pretty, probably said it a million times over the last couple of days, it has been a pretty dry wet season. Um, so they've told us to stick to the track. If you go off the track, um, there's a very good chance you're going to get bogged and no one's going to come and help you. So we don't want that. So what we thought we'd do, we were told by somebody else a couple of days ago, there was a guy down here stuck for about 24 hours. There's nobody around to help him. It was really, really soft sand. Um, I went to drive in there. It looks really powdery. It looks like that really horrible stuff that we've come across before in Queensland. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do, as I just said, we'll chuck that drone up have a bit of a scout around and see which is the easiest and shortest way for us to get across to the beach. So um, the drone is up, where's our car? Okay, so we're just above the car. So this is that track that we just went to drive in. It's like real powdery. Let's go off, it's pretty windy and this little drain doesn't like wind. It's pretty cool to have a like, strong wind warning. Lower altitude. Anyway, I can see the path goes off this track and just sort of comes out to the coast here. Uh, we'll just bring it down a little bit. There we go. It's only about 30 metres high, it's not real far. There's all that coast and there is another track over here behind us. Which that looks like it there. Yeah, because we just came in here and I saw that track, that one there. So that one didn't look too bad. I think we might head over and have a look at that one, Jess, and see if we can drive up, maybe pull up in this little patch here or something maybe look at this we finally made it all the way to the golf of carpentaria i've been wanting to do this for so bloody long it's the first time we've put our foot in the sand and um yeah unreal it's absolutely unreal it's one of those places a bit like fraser island when you come up all the way to the tip it's just absolutely stunning beautiful breeze barn it's a nice change it's been so freaking hot my feet are absolutely burning here. I'm glad I got my thongs on because I tell you what, even when the sand gets in between my thongs, I'm still struggling. All right, let's go and have a look. Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> oh, it is soft out here. You don't want to bring your car down on you. Oh. You made it, Nick. We made it. Well, what an absolute wonderful day again, Jess. It's been very nice. It has. We're up here on the coastal areas, just kicking back, taking the afternoon off. We got here about lunchtime, I think, and you know we had a bit of a drive all the way out to the coast, which you would have seen earlier, and we've just been back here relaxing. We haven't really stopped in the last week and a bit, so it was really nice just to <laughs> pull up. There was actually a lovely breeze, which actually allowed us to actually sit down outside and not melt away in these extreme temperatures that we're um, experiencing here at the moment. So yeah, really nice change to have that wind coming through and just allowing us to just to kick back and relax. It's um, time has definitely slowed down. It's been a really nice afternoon. And we haven't seen one, we've seen one car this entire day. And that was down near Rosie's camp this morning, yeah. So there hasn't been anybody come up here. We've seen the helicopter fly over. When we were right out on the beach, um, yeah, that was the only contact we've had with humans. It's really good. It's crazy, isn't it? Mm. Especially because it's like Good Friday today too. Oh, it is too. I've even lost track of what day it is. <laughs> no, it's really good. But I'll, 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 I reckon I'm going to chuck in a line tonight. There's a fish that's just jumped out of there. There's two. It's been a bit quiet. The tide's come in. We, I 
we're trying to work out what the tides are actually doing is we don't have a tide chart or times or anything like that but um i think i might fish off the bank here tonight because i can get a little bit higher up and feel a little bit more protected <laughs> from what's in the a water a bit more comfortable yeah that's it so hopefully there's a bit of uh buffing going on in the water tonight maybe we might be able to land ourselves a barra mm. that would be nice a keeper if we do we'll show you yes we will anyway we will see you pretty much tomorrow unless we catch a barra tonight <laughs> Everyone keep your fingers crossed for yep, us. Yeah, we are. I am, definitely. <laughs> we well, did close out for the day, but this stunning sunset has just come upon us. And look at that. It is amazing. That is so cool. The colors onto the um, creek bed, creek water. I absolutely love the Northern Territory. <laughs> this is just unreal. So nice. It is beautiful, isn't it? All right, second see you later for the day. We haven't caught a barrow either. <laughs> just a good sunset. We tried, we tried. <laughs> Still time. All right, catches. Morning all, we just packed up from river camp. We didn't catch any fish last night. It was pretty dark, so I didn't venture down onto the riverbank. But anyway, we're gonna jump in the car and we're gonna head over and check out Nanny's Retreat and the Valley of Ghosts. So to disconnect the caravan, we just got to the end of the Carpentaria track and we're heading up to Nanny's Retreat. So we thought it'd be easier just to leave the van here. So make the trip a little bit quicker. Less mucking around trying to turn around up there. So we'll uh, just pack in a bit of lunch and a bit of brekkie, a bit of a brunch today. Seeing we haven't had breakfast. Lock it all up. Lock it all up. We're on our way. Away we go. Getting a bit wild coming through here into the valley of ghosts. It doesn't look like anyone has been in here this season. So we we're obviously the first, but that's all good. And it's time to drop her into low range so we can crawl across all these rocks. It is uh, no turning back at this point in time. <laughs>
this is the valley of the ghosts. It's so quiet. Eerie. We're gonna go for a walk through here. See what we can find. We're the only people for days and days. Thanks for doing the walk. It's okay. Now we're all sweaty. Shall we go to Nanny's retreat for a swim? I think so. It's warm. <laughs> I need to cool off. Alright, let's drive back out through the wild bush. <laughs> Rightio guys, we've just arrived to Nanny's retreat. Apparently this is the number one spot on Lorella Springs. So we're going to walk on up and have a look and hopefully there's a bit of water in there where we can have a swim. Doesn't matter which path you take in the Northern Territory, there's always so much bush bashing to get wherever you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Every walking path, driving trail. But that's just because... Yeah, deep that is. So deep. Just because it's the wet season, slash the end of the wet season, Nick. Yeah. I wonder if you'll be saying that come September, October. Yeah, who knows. This is cool. It is very cool. Well guys, unfortunately all good things have to come to an end and this is for us is the end of our Lorella Springs trip. It's been absolutely awesome and what a better way to finish it off is being right here at Nanny's Retreat. It's absolutely stunning spot and I think Lorella has nailed that on the head. It is one of the nicest places on the park. Not that we've seen everywhere but definitely this is on the to-do list if you're here at Lorella Springs. Absolutely awesome week and I really can't wait to get back here next time. We'll see you somewhere off-road between the coasts. Our tire has broken. Oh, Nick. <laughs> we've gone all this way. We thought we were going to end the video, but now we've got a blown tyre. <laughs> it just pays to have decent tyres on your caravan, especially when you're travelling on long distances. And I think that's an uh, investment we'll be looking into when we get back to Darwin. Wow. She shredded. I don't know what happened to it. We've got... I checked it like before we left. Um, the survey down there at Daily Waters and it was fine, so obviously we just hit something, I don't know. We've got 
six in a bit hours to go. <laughs> and that one is unrepairable. <laughs> that is definitely unrepairable. Ah oh, well. At least you're prepared to chuck it up and change it. Well done. Yeah. Do you know how to do this? Oh, yeah.